Hey folks, so today's video is going to be a Lush haul. I do realise that I just uploaded a Lush haul video, but right now I have this huge addiction to Lush, so you've got another haul. And if you don't like it, then don't watch it. But if you do, and you like Lush, then welcome to this video, my friend. The first bath bomb I ordered is this Christmas Penguin bath bomb. It is so cute, I absolutely love it. Although, I feel like when Lush tried to make something look like something like the snowman, the penguin, etc, etc, and the hedgehog, they always end up looking a bit demented. Uh, but this one actually does look like a penguin, believe it or not. It has a kind of lemony, mandarin type smell, and it does create a lot of bubbles in your bath. And I'm, I just, I love the look of it. Although I kind of feel like I'm murdering it when I put it in the bath because it'd be like dying and melting. And I, I already have the snowman bath bomb, and I really felt, I, I felt like I was melting Olaf when I put it in my bath. It like broke my heart a little bit. I broke inside. <laughs> This next one is called Starlight, Star Bright, I'm pretty sure. And by the way, all these bath bombs were between £2.95 and like £4. So they're not that expensive and you can use them more than once. But this is a really, really cool bath bomb. So obviously it leaves a lot of glitter in your bath because it's like made of glitter practically. But it's lime and ginger scented, which normally I'm not too keen on the smell of ginger. You crush it under running water and it creates, it like, it makes your bath turquoise and blue. And I'm pretty intrigued to try it out. I'm really interested in this. I thought I'd switch it up a bit from bath bombs and I got a soap here called Baked Alaska. And the picture it showed on the website is completely different to this. Although apparently if I slice it, because obviously you don't use the whole thing at once, so you like slice a bit off. Uh, all the true colours show on the middle, but it smells so good. <laughs> It smells of grapefruit and lemon, it smells absolutely gorgeous. Lemon and grapefruit, I love kind of tangy zingy smells and this ticks all the boxes for me. <laughs> so good. I feel good. Na 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 na. You knew that I would. Na 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 na. I feel good. Na 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 na. This next one is a little cute Christmas hedgehog. And it's really, really nice. I don't really know why I got this, apart from the look of it. I didn't even read anything about it. I was just like, that would look nice in my drawer. Tick. <laughs> so I got the Christmas Hedgehog, and may I just say, it smells amazing. And it also includes sheer and like soothing essentials for your skin, which is good. So I'm really looking forward to trying this one out. Also, if you crumble this one under the tab, it reveals like Yang Yang and Rose Absolute smells. So I'm not really sure how that will smell because I don't know what yang yang dip, dip, dip is. But I'm looking forward to trying it out. Me granny takes a dip in the water. Me granny takes a dip in the water. Granny, me granny, me granny takes a dip in the water. This next one is called Granny Takes a Dip and I don't know how the hell they came up with these names but it's a pretty cool name if you ask me. I'm not overly keen on the smell, but I ordered it online and I really didn't think of the smells or anything like that and I've seen it in stores and it's huge. It costs £3.35 as well, which isn't that expensive for how big it is, so I just got it. Uh, and it got, it's got ginger and pepper smell in it, I can tell you that, and I'm not too keen on the two together. Um, but it's such a strong smell that I know that it'll stick, stick to my skin after you get on the bat, out of the bath. I think another reason as to why I got it is because obviously it's multicolored and it's got green and orange and blue and pink and probably more colors inside. So when you put it into the bath, it might just dissolve and like leave your bath like green and orange and blue and pink. So I'm on to the final bath bomb now. Uh, and do you know when you just forget that you ordered one and then you realize you've ordered it and you don't have a clue as to why you've ordered something? Well, this is how I feel about this one because I don't know why I ordered it. I know I did order it. But I don't know why. It doesn't look like anything special at all, but it has a pretty nice smell. It's very, uh, it's quite a floral type scent is the easiest way that I can describe it. And it's got like a cluster of like green salts on the top. And it's got like pinks and greens and whites and yellows in it. So I'm, I'm looking forward to how it like explodes in the bath because this is a bath bomb as well. Wouldn't recommend this if you want a visual show in the bath. Uh, but I would recommend if you like the smell of it, there's nothing inside, it's just white inside, kind of disappointing, not going to lie. Does anyone ever feel like they need to burp, and then they burp, but it's actually a burp and they just swallow sick? 
nice little thing to leave you thinking about after this video. Anyway guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave it a huge fat thumbs up and leave a comment below of anything because I read every single comment, like literally like, every single comment I read and I will reply to it. But make sure you have your reply option turned on because sometimes someone will leave me a really nice comment and then I can't reply to it and that depresses me. Anyway, have a beautiful day and don't forget to stay positive. Bye guys. Mwah.